Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. Just kind of sitting here watching these guys. Rita and Kana both went to bed at around like 1.30 in the morning. Just kind of letting it run in between episodes here. And I'm curious to see when they get up as far as our, it's not here anymore, our sleep training. So that'll give me a good sense of, they work late, which means their sleep is probably lacking a little bit more. Okay, so they may have been more tired than normal, so there is that to factor in, but it was, it was in the one o'clock hour, so we're basically four hours into a sleep right now for them. We'll see if they get up in the five o'clock hour or the six o'clock hour. Still not sure if this was truly worth the five days of, of research to gain back one hour a day for however long. Eh, we'll see. It has compounded over seven people, though, so I guess there's something to it. Anyway, I was looking at temperatures. Oh, by the way, Edmund got back. <laughs> he came back with a bunch of scrap metal and ten brand new berries. Amazing how that happens. Um, anyway, looking at temperatures, I got to thinking, it is kind of like, you know, spring at least. It's in the 50s outside, so it's still kind of cool and crisp in the mornings inside it's 91 degrees it's hot in there <laughs> so unfortunately these don't spread from room to room so i can't just leave one on and let it kind of trickle through the entire house so it's a kind of an all or nothing thing with fireplaces so in here we are 94 degrees in the hallway we are 85 the bedrooms are 65 now that's actually comfortable so maybe we'll leave that one going. Let's extinguish. That's right, you can make drinks and recipes in your fireplace. Forgot about that. Kind of picture a you know, a bar across and a pot hanging in there. Yeah, or a rack over the top. Too bad they didn't... I uh, wonder if there's an animation if they stand over here and cook over it. They do get a bowl and start, you know, start doing, you know, mixing things over there. Anyway... I ramble on. Let's wait to extinguish, but we'll leave the refuel running. So you and you are going to extinguish. And cool the place down, get it more comfortable. Um, we are getting close to 50%. Curious if I hang around here enough, we'll hear this guy turn on all by himself. I'm curious to see if it works that way. It is on already, so it should just trigger. So theoretically, but because of the heat, I started putting in windows. And wouldn't you know it, what looked like a normal place in a bedroom to put a window? There's a pole right outside that one. <laughs> yeah, just rolled the dice and lost on that one. Um, and that's just the place that it needs to be with the beds where they are right now. Later, when we're using all the bedrooms and only one bed in here, we could have it differently. Yeah... Let's go to the third slot. Can I put two next to each other? Or is that structurally a problem? Looks like I can. Let's go there, there, and there. And let's cancel... Boy, if I can grab it. You, you, and you. That's not stacking, so never mind. Cancel. Oh, it did stack. Okay. I, I thought... Okay, never mind. So those are, that's where we'll put windows over there. And now we're not looking out at a pole. That's better. Good. In front, though, unfortunately, that really, it, it doesn't work. It's kind of like this dartboard. You can't put the dartboard anywhere in here because it just, you can't walk through an archway because the dartboard's in the way. So I grab a window to put it anywhere in the front and it just freaks out everywhere except for right here. I can put that one in. Nothing else works. The barrels are all a problem. You can't get to the shutters to close them because all of these things are in the way. We could put under the kind of window in, I think. Tall? No, these have to be opened as well, apparently. I've seen them on other playthroughs, other people's playthroughs, and they... Really? Nowhere? There we go. It doesn't look like they're ever opened. So it doesn't seem like there's an issue there. 
Looks like there's a screen in it, huh? Or is that just the texture of the carpeting? Let's do it this way. Yeah, I think it's just the carpeting. But it won't let you do it if there's anything in front of it. So windows out front are going to be a problem until we, I guess, open up more space. Move the... That's a bedroom, though. So we're not really moving anything else. I guess maybe some of these guys are going to have to leave the porch and go into a, an outbuilding of some kind. Then we've got access to closed shutters. We can get it, some windows open to make it look a little better. Because I'm pretty sure the game counts these as cooling in the summertime. So we need to get some kind of airflow through this building. wasn't a problem in the winter when we moved in, but I think it's going to be a problem soon. So there is that to do, and I'm still kind of I'm stalling because I don't want these two to get up. Carter's idling. Oh, that dog. That dog is a bit of a problem. Carter, you are trying to pet dog. Dog is idling, doesn't know what to do. Dog's just sitting there. Oh, wait, wait. Maybe he's got it figured out. He's got it figured out. Okay. <laughs> oh, dog doesn't have it figured out, though. Dog's leaving. <laughs> Anyway, um, did I miss it already? I did. So Kana is up at, we'll say, 6.30. So a five-hour sleep now. Technically, what, five hours instead of an eight-hour sleep? Though I was only giving him officially six anyway. One, two, three, four, five. I was only giving him five. And then I figured they would just drift into this as they wanted to, the, the anythings. Grab something to eat, even get started work. A lot of them do. Pollock's already handling a furnace long before it's time to actually work. I think the anything is a, is a really good tool. Though, like I said, I think at the very beginning of the series that uh, some people in RimWorld will just say anything all the way across. And they figure when they get tired, they'll go to sleep and, you know, whatever. But then you get so scattered and so random. I, I tried that once and I didn't like it. I, I, I like... Uh, the group all getting up at the same time and all having a meal together and it just feels more natural so i went ahead and stuck with a with a pattern but um so they're both up so we'll say that gives you a a good solid five hour sleep edmund was probably a three hour sleep already so he's probably less or maybe it was four already now he's a three but anyway carter is still relaxing Edmund has already gotten to work. Paulette is still handling furnaces. What are we doing nowadays? We are making more bricks. I up the bricks so we can do something with it. And I'm trying to figure out what that something is. This, the life of this guy is not much longer. The attacks so far have been pretty simple, pretty basic. We had the, the taller scissor hands that were able to get over the wall and beat these up a bit. Otherwise... You know, we busted through some walls, but haven't done a lot of damage. Eventually, we're going to get not just 30 or 40. We're going to get 180 scarabs all at once or what have you. Plus a whole bunch of other things, a bunch of explosive ones that keep blowing things up. And pretty soon, they're finally going to overwhelm this. So this is not a long-term plan. This is a This was a fun beginner plan. I've never seen this on any other series. I just wanted to see what a rectangle would do. Then I started uh, expanding. I like this plan because you can be... You know, there's there's no place that's not defensible here. Wherever they are, there is a point somewhere that can get around that corner and take them out. So this X works really well. But long term, with what I've seen is capable of coming at us, it's not going to survive. And the idea of the fuel fermentation down here where the bug meat is i think it works great except that it's now so far away from us if they're still using bug meat for anything else like a meal it's still a long walk and of course gas storage is is up here and not down there so it worked when we were here and that's why it was set up here otherwise it would have been set up next to this guy if we had started up on the hill so long term which is slowly becoming more and more short term probably by the beginning of year three i'm going to make a guess we need to be doing something up in here in regard to defense i'm thinking that starts when concrete comes into play 
which is where we are we already there why am i not seeing completed do we do concrete already we did no there it is concrete rooms we have concrete walls now Ooh. so start soon put it that way um defense fortification wooden okay i'm still missing something here we've got stone and brick gates fortification why don't we have concrete walls we have concrete housing. I guess that's what we've got. So floor, concrete. Oh, because we haven't made our first concrete yet. So maybe it's not showing up until we've... Just like you couldn't make pipes until you dried your first tobacco. So maybe that's a thing. That's in the furnace, right? Bake, concrete. Cement takes 10 stone. We have... Oh, we have right there. 220. I was saying we have zero, but that's cement. Let's do a round in each one of these. One pass. So bake, concrete. Right now, we'll just do one time. We'll, we'll do it until later. But for right now, let's just do a once and get enough to build something with it and see what, what it looks like. Uh, bake, concrete, yes. Bake, concrete, yeah, I've got to keep repeating it to myself because <laughs> it's late and I'm tired. <laughs> so we'll make a round of concrete and see what happens there once that's done I'm kind of picturing probably this wall right here come across in this area shoot through make a big square around us gate and some kind of an alley through here that we can hopefully herd bugs through and whether that is a one pass or it is a switchback in RimWorld, we always use the switchback system and it worked really well with doors in between so they can walk through it but the bugs will track trying to get to us leave the gate open and stand in here and that's the way they're going to want to go because we'll have everything else walled off so whatever the easiest path is to get to us is the path they want to take so that's probably our long-term plan full of traps and turrets and what have you is lasers and flames and all the all the stuffs but the attacks haven't been strong enough yet to worry too much about it um but long term i we need to get that defensive structure a new version of it up in here and then we're close enough to the kitchen for bug meat and for fuel and the and the balloon is here and you know we could even have a second balloon Right after a bug attack, it might be kind of fun to send Rita off one direction and Edmund off another direction. Yeah, you could do that. I um, feel like I was heading somewhere else when that came up. I probably was. Are we... I'm kind of hanging around here on purpose. There's something else I want to do, but I want to see what happens when that ticks off. You are... Where's the percentage? 62% and we are adding 8 so we're adding eight on top of everything. Hmm. Huh. Even with everything running, we're still at a positive during the daytime, not during night. This goes off at night. Okay. And I had seen in pre in a series online before I ever bought the game, wind turbines were always a problem. The wind would drop down to zero too often. I thought maybe we'd throw one in, but we do need electronics to do it. And we are short on electronics. I just got a pen cough that flew through the screen there. <laughs> and getting Kana to do that right now, though, I take that back, we're, we're out of material. So Kana can't do any sewing right now, which is a shame. We are going to run low on a few things for a while. This finally got planted, but it's got... A ways to go. In fact, I found something I didn't had never seen before. I was just playing around with this between episodes. I had never clicked on this tab before. Here's all the information I was looking for at the very beginning. So, the temperatures that it needs to grow, temperature tolerance. If it goes between these, things go bad. How long it takes to harvest. I knew there had to be stats somewhere. What what kind of soil it needs. Um, no failure at fa farming five. So you need 
farming five to guarantee that you're going to be able to harvest cloth blossom. So that kind of information is there. I didn't know it. Um, so Kana was supposed to be sewing and she cannot. She's right now just doing handling. I could have her make a few of these just to get us going again. So Kana, your happiness that's on its way up. You are always a little unhappy. You never have very many greens. Maybe you'll be one of the first ones to get the new bedroom. We're almost at a new bedroom, aren't we? Almost. These guys will probably have this finished today. Or at least this episode. So yeah, we'll give Kana the first bedroom. She seems to always be right in the middle. Whereas Rita is usually near the max. She's not there at the moment, but this is where it's headed to, is right there. But Kana could be doing... Let's give her a relaxation. She's... This is not Kana. It is Kana. Okay. So it's not a relaxation issue. She's enough. She could use a good meal. But mostly just, she just needs more happy things to happen to her. Yeah. So she needs you know a spacious bedroom. But she needs to pet the dog. She needs to bond with the dog. She needs to have pleasant conversations with. And what other sort of things. Play with the animal. Um, slept in a comfy bed she will have. Had a pleasant walk. Decently fed. Maybe there aren't there isn't enough food variety for her because she's a vegetarian. Uh, enough food varieties right there. <laughs> she hated a table. So, maybe... Yeah. Anyway. Um, I did uh, set up some more harvesting of these guys so we can get some syrups so we can get some more pumpkin pies. And that gives up a good bonus too. We are kind of down to just one kind of food right now and that's veggie soups until more things pop in our garden so rita is petting the dog how's she doing she's she's maxed out on her happiness anyway so rita why don't you come down first thing to do today is get these guys uh harvesting and i didn't check to see if that was all of them looks like it is okay and then maybe have you just go directly over and harvest uh, it was, wasn't these, these, and that should give us enough harvest to give us some treats in our food for a while. Okay. And I was going to have Kana eat one of those and now it won't do any good. So Kana, you just pop over, grab a meal when you're done with whatever you're doing and then make me an electronic right there because we've got a couple of cpu cores now right we got one and two power cells okay and now i've forgotten what the electronic was for i was that's right i was going to test out a wind turbine to see what the update did to it they promised that this update they had fixed the wind turbine problem they gotten so many complaints that what's the point of wind turbines and ever work so they've 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 made those work a little better but electronics is an issue and let's see if i can find it loco wrote in and was talking about something i'd mentioned long ago one of the earlier episodes about a wreck that i had found that i kind of remember it if i remember having Actually, these look a little different now. I remember having something that had some white modules inside. It looked like they were made of plastic or white metal. But, and I thought it was up here too. I mean, these all look very different. But I don't remember them looking so rough, you know, rough and worn, moss covered. I remember them being rusty. So I don't see now what I thought that I had seen. So that's interesting. That's different. This guy looks like an engine module. This guy over here? No. What else is up here? We'll do a tour of our of our map. There's another one that's that's like a that's an engine too. Different kind of engine. Different kind of ship that crashed. This guy here always made me think of a much larger engine. You know, like the I don't know the, the nozzle or the nose the the intake. 
of a jet engine, but massive scale. What else is around here? If we go, I don't want to spin you guys around too much, but we follow this ridge. Where is, where's home? We came up over here. So if we go over the top and follow the ridge, we hit our bugs over here. Which seems a lot closer when you come up from this side. We, have, we travel a long way to get up, like, up here like this. And from here, the other bug nest that showed up. It's through the rocks. And... Here? There. Okay. So it seems like there was another interesting wreck out this direction. That's another small engine. You are... Not it. I do remember a wreck with a, a couple of white sections in it. And wondering what was in that. I don't think it was this one. This is one that looked kind of like... Where is it? Expeditions. Um cruise ship. That's what I was thinking of when I saw that. But I don't know where that wreck is now that had the white compartments in it. Over here. Not you. Another uh, couple of kinds of engines. Yeah. That looks like the turbine of a of an aircraft engine. And propellers. So I don't know which wreck that was. But he was wondering if we went back to that particular wreck, if we would get a better loot. It looked a little more modern. It looked a little more high-tech. Would we get electronics and whatnot from them? And it's worth an experiment. Yeah, better so than what we're... Though we've got one of these guys over here, too. I don't know. So let's get the house built let's get this section built which I'm thinking the two of them can do it today if we don't get a bug attack Carter and Edmund are pretty much not being bothered right now so and almost except for this wall almost everything is here in fact let's have Simon you're crafting pipes right now how about you I can't even get you to bring the materials well I can if I find them uh, probably here wood Right there. Simon, you got a fast run. Haul the wood in for us. And maybe you'll drop it off at all the building points. So that these guys can just bang hammers all day. And in fact, Carter, if you can pop over and do these two right now. And Edmund, aggressive animals. <laughs> if you could do this one. Maybe we can get Kana moved in. Um, well, they're not obvious. All right, where are they at? Ooh, they're right behind us. Where I? They're right where I just sent Edmund or Simon. Where did I send him? I sent him to there. Eh, we'll see if that gets a little crazy. Now, what do we actually have? We have got scissor hand hatchlings, so they're not dangerous. In the sense that they can't get over our walls and they move slow. Okay, but I'm guessing like their adult counterparts, they will pick up speed once they take the first shot. Which means we might not be able to outrun them. So going in and picking them off might not be a great idea. So they are aggressive, not starving. So they're not going to go hunt down anything, though do they... Watch after these guys. They don't. So they're only aggressive when they want to be. Yeah. Anyway, before it goes any longer, I'm guessing it hasn't ticked to the next hour. If that was 10, then we should see them at 4 p.m. Okay, so Simon is already here. He's doing his thing. And I'm curious where you are going to go next. I'm hoping you're going to all the blue walls, and you are. Okay, good. So, Edmund's building that. Carter gave up on this because he wasn't told to do the floor. Yeah, Edmund, can you take care of that? Thank you. And, oh, different. you got to get the door first. Okay. 
so we can actually enter here. Yeah, there you go. Um, I'm missing a... No, I'm not missing a wall. It only looks that way. It's right here. I wonder how the game chooses which walls to show and which ones not to. Hmm. Uh, click away. So, we're going to get that room done. I guess, Kana, your bed is here? Umar. Kana. Move. We will toss you into here. And she... Does kind of get a window still. There is a way to do that. Okay. So, I never thought about how all the windows are going to work when I threw out this design together. We can still get a window. Oh, I have to choose it. Right there. Okay. So, that one is still in the works. And I suppose let's get these guys set before they get forgotten, too. Something like... Yeah, we've got a good center point here. And there's no pull at the moment in the way. I don't know that this is all the final design back here to know that the poles are not going to be moved in the future. I'm thinking this... Hmm. There goes her window if we put an addition out here. So we've got to think careful about how uh, what happens at this door if we add on later or just walk outside. I wonder if I can make a covered walkway out of this door. Probably could extend the floor and put a roof over it. And then into another building back here. Yeah, might be able to do that. Anyway, you guys are all still making bricks. When that's done, they'll make concrete, and we'll have that to experiment with. Shared their fears with Kana. Okay. Carter is moving wooden fabric bed. Okay, he got the command to do it. And you are building the roof. Oh, that's right. We have roof to think about. Well, at least it's being done. Because the last of the walls are going in, too. And we're probably going to have a second bedroom going on here. So who should that be? So we've got Paulette. Um, I guess happiness in general. Versus Rita, who's really good. And Carter is over here. He's pretty good. And Simon is in there. He's great. And Umayar is great. So, Paulette, you're probably the next one that really needs the the plus 18 each day. That might be the best way for me to think about it. You're in this room, so you're right there. Let's go ahead and get you moved into here. We'll just drop you... Yeah, drop you like that, because it looks like the window, to follow the rest of the patterns, goes right there, which also keeps it away from a pole. Good. And then... Windows at the back side here, window there. So all the bedrooms have a window now. We just don't have windows for the common rooms yet. Have to figure that out. We have to have to just to throw up a, a shed. You know, uh, one of these guys. A shelter out here and move some things off the front porch. We'll see. Um, but this room is enough, I believe, to go ahead and move the battery, which is going to get a little interesting when I do that because it's going to kill power to everything. Now is there officially a front and a back to the battery? So we got that side and that side. That's the side we're using now. And I see the bars on the you know the green lights on the back side but this looks like a handle. I think that's the front. I think that's the front. So red lines on the front, which means I want you like this. So you're going to go there, and it didn't kill power. Because we're making enough with the solar panels to run everything and have eight extra. Okay, that explains it. So who can I get to move this immediately? Umar, can you do that, or do you have to have a certain building skill? Uh, yeah, I got you, and nothing's happening. There, now it's moving. Or now it's happening. Edmund's already got it. Okay. So that's happening. The bed is being moved. That's happening. Constructing a large window. Great. That's going to happen. Need to get this window done too. Uh, Edmund has it, but it's not in his queue right now. Interesting. Can I get you to short circuit that? 
Okay. Now, yeah, once you're done with that, can you get this window done? Reserve by Kana, who I was... Well, I was complaining that Kana didn't have enough positives, and that is one of her positives. Yeah, you go ahead and construct it. Okay. <laughs> Heck, while you're at it, why don't you uh, construct these as well. And foods... Eight. Paulette, where are you right now? You... There you are. You're handling a furnace. Why don't you come on over and do what I'd asked Connor to do and make an electronic. Okay. There's a bug attack coming today, so tomorrow we'll head, I guess, up top. Maybe... Is there anybody else that can do this with Edmund and... Let's see, scavenge. Scavenge. There we go. So it is Edmund and Carter who have the most physical. But maybe Simon can go up with them. And we can hit three different wrecks and see what randomly comes out of them. Give them each one try and see uh, you know, what's the, the first item that naturally falls out of them. 1,500. These guys move really slow. I'm not going to race them all out there ahead of time. We did that once. You can hear the, the Jeopardy uh, song in the background. <laughs> While we waited and waited and waited for those scissor hands to crawl all the way over there. Though we have Dog, we still have never proven that they would not go after Dog. We've always managed to divert them around him, and I don't see the word dog anywhere right now. Why is that? Okay, let's zoom in a bit. I'm seeing a lot of peoples. I'm not seeing a dog. Was he out here and they built him into a floor? <laughs> Where's dog? Okay, we have to do this another way. Um, here, tamed animals. If I double click, boom, you're all the way out here. What you doing? And how do we fix that? What are you, are you, are you eating? Um, it doesn't tell us what he's doing at the moment. If I hover over him? No. Is he eating these guys? He's a carnivore. Uh, carnivore. Red meat. So he's not eating. I guess I'd better lead him home somehow. Dog! Alright. Lead. Back here. And Rita, who's outside? Who's the closest? Zoom out here. Rita actually is the closest. Alright, Rita, drop what you've got. Come over here and lead dog. Because the bugs are coming. I expect that that uh, alert to hit any second now. 1,500. So 3 p.m. already. There it is. Wow, we have a lot of hunting to do here. Oh, we need to do some hunting. When this bug attack is done, it'll be late. Well, yeah, it needs to get done soon. Okay, so they are on their way. Why did Edmund go there instead of continue cutting, uh, uh, constructing? Roofs are done, right? Roofs are done. Let's turn these off. That's looking pretty good, isn't it? That is. Wow. I'm impressed. Yep, that's a nice shot right there. Ah. Anyway, turn you all back on. And not that one. Which one makes Doug pink? That one. Yeah, they're pink both times. We're getting closer. He stays pink no matter what. Because I'm... He's in the middle of an order of being led. I guess that's it. So Rita is not going to get to him in time. If she does, she's going to lead him right through here. 
So I need somebody who is not going to break anytime soon to get out over here and and yell and scream and lure them away so they don't because their natural path is going to be right through dog to get to here. That's the way I see it. So you are total happiness, Carter. You you win. You drew the the lucky straw there. Where is Carter? He's handling a furnace. Carter, draft. Come on out over here. And let's get these guys' attention. Paulette, I don't think I want to risk you. Rita's busy. Simon, where are you at right now? You're in the middle of the house somewhere. Over there. You draft and come on out here with Carter. I know you two, you two are not buddies, but you can definitely uh, help each other here on this one. Kana's fine. In fact, she's doing better now that she's... Does it say? Does not say did what she enjoys. I guess that 18 is pretty uh, temporary. And Umayar, you're going to be lucky just with your agoraphobia just to be able to handle the attack. Okay. So you guys head out here and see if you can get their attention. They're probably all running to Edmund right now. So Edmund, let's get you to build... Got to do all three of them. Build... Reserved by Kana. Okay. Um, I guess build these three. Get you inside the house. Kana can do the other two. And let's keep track of these guys. They're slowly heading. Very slowly. It'll be dark by the time they get down there, won't it? Yeah, it will be. Wait a minute here. Um, Simon's busy. Rita's busy. Paulette. Paulette, how are you doing otherwise? You need a meal. Are you doing that? You're eating. Okay. You are eating pickles. I wonder if I should take that off of the menu. Probably should. They're eating them up faster. We can use them for cooking anyway. And it doesn't give them any happiness. So I guess I should take that off their list of, of available foods. Is she actually sitting down yet? She's not. Paulette, grab something that's going to do you some good. Grab that one. Well, you're probably getting tired of veggie soup. I, yeah, I understand. Um, anyway, I need somebody. Umayar, you hop down here and light all these torches. We've never done that. I've never remembered to. So you light them all. We'll have some light tonight to shoot by which should increase her accuracy. That was the whole point of putting them in. They don't never think of doing it. <laughs> All right, so they are crawling through here like, like molasses. And it's going to be 19, 20, 100 time they get there. Nobody's outside. Well, Edmund is constructing. He's, once he gets inside, these guys should get their attention. Some of them are already tracking toward them. Okay. So you guys bunch together. Let's remember they're there. Remind me. I don't want to leave them alone. But actually they're going to attack as soon as... Yeah. They're going to shoot. These guys are going to start running faster. Okay. Carter, Edmund, you head down here then. And let's see if we can lure these guys after you. Edmund, get inside so we can stop triggering them. Kana, oh, you're going to trigger them too. I'm trying to get you guys to... Rita, you're harvesting? What? Did Dog go in on his own? Dog's walking in on his own. Interesting. Okay. He's not going to get there in time though. Hmm. Rita, can I have you? Rita... Lead dog. Maybe that'll go faster. Or you both just crawl up there. I don't know which. Um, Kana is still outside. They're heading for you. It's probably time to go ahead and make this happen. Okay. Paulette. Edmund. Kana. Draft. Come on down here. We have four lit furnaces. Umayar. Hop down here. Two. And 
Simon and Carter, you guys are fine where you are. And Rita is all that's left as far as... Now you're leading dog where? <laughs> oh, why do I even try? <laughs> that's... You're, you're leading... Well, okay. That's... Maybe the safest place now. You're not going to get to the house. They're going to come right through here. Okay. All right, maybe you're smarter than I am. Hungry. Um, undraft. And is there any left? Yeah. And I've turned that off of your ability to eat, haven't I? Let's make one exception. Um, other? Yeah. Turn that back on. Umayar, you are drafted. Okay, there you go. And eat. Where we can get a meal. Mm, why are you going up there? There you go. Okay. You go ahead and eat. What's happening out here now? They made it to the house. They're coming through. They're going to come down. <laughs> They're going to come down my staircases. <laughs> That's something we dropped off. Okay. And you guys are still here. Haven't forgotten about you. But, and you're still important. There's still a chance they'll break and come this way instead of going after Dog. Though I have a feeling they're, they're tracking Rita right now. So Rita, if I tell you to come over here, Dog may start walking right back up there again. We'll just keep doing it. Yeah, she's, she's waving them over. Okay. So keep an eye on Umayar need him to not need him not to go back to researching in fact I could actually I yeah, I did this last time undraft Simon hop over here and there hop over here and observe that and what was the other thing we needed observed out here oh he was doing a bush and there are no bushes out over here so Umar, you're not gonna be able to do that but Simon can and Carter, I think you're about done. They're coming over the hill now. So let's send you into here as well. Okay. So you guys are off doing things. And we get a thunderstorm. And no, we don't have a lightning rod over here. I never thought about a lightning rod over here. Interesting. Closest lightning rod is here. Uh... There we go. Hard to click on those. It wouldn't be a bad idea to drop one in like so. Uh, power pole network comes down this way. So yeah, if it's sat down in here, though they're going to destroy it. That'll probably be a target. Tuck it in the corner and just get this set up while I'm thinking of it. Right there. Uh, copy. There. All right, we'll just get that set up to work on between now and the next attack. But yeah, we have two enemies now. We really do. So Simon is going to go research for a little bit. You guys are coming in at a pretty good pace now. You actually are. Oh, we're whew, we're here. Never mind. Simon. Draft. Get on board. Rita. Dog is in trouble. Yep. Draft. Hop up here. Uh, Rita. Actually, you can be back a little bit. Let's put you here. Paulette, I like you in the corner. And Edmund, you're good in combat. Put you over here. Carter was pretty good. Put you over here. And Kana... You work with Carter. Umayar, you work with... Whoever it was. Draft. Where are you? Oh, you went and sat down. <laughs> and who did I miss? Simon? Simon. You... You back up the... Uh... 
Yeah, you back up the, the the head of the spear, the point of the spear there. Why do I have a feeling I missed somebody? And there's the, the rain. Everybody seems to be moving. We're all tracking in. There's a bug. Already getting there. Dog is over here. And they don't seem to notice him. I'm going with the assumption that the game is not programmed to attack your pets. I just can't prove that. Alright, so Edmund. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're all here. We got here in time. And there are the first shots. And now they speed up like crazy. And the traps aren't gripping some of them. They were able to run through them. Yeah, maybe not. Okay, well, the first wave's getting here. And kind of out of here. Next wave is this area. Third, or do we still, we still have a few working their way down? Yeah. Okay, so these guys can destroy the walls. But they can't get to the floors until they've gone through the walls, just like the scarabs. And, yeah, you guys still have targets. You guys all have targets. Damage brick wall. And... Who are you? Edmund. Take this guy out. Seems intent on working on you. Let's see. Return these guys... Off. There we go. Now we can see a little better. Don't see any brick walls going down yet. Though they are definitely trying to. They're, they're doing some damage. The traps have been sprung and, and the ones that sprung them are dead. They're trying to get through. Anybody can't find a target right now. So, uh, Paulette? Who is that? Oh, there's no names anymore. <laughs> so this one gives you the names and gives you the traps. Yeah. So I need both of them running to... I think i leave that one off. Okay. Anyway, this finishes up. Very few of them left. They haven't made it through a wall yet. Until now. Destroyed brick. So this one has. So... You head to here... You can help out with that last one. Boom. And... Done. Okay. Thunderstorm is an issue. I would normally have them out here butchering everything and heading in. I think we're going to do that in the morning. I think it's time for everyone to go home. So let's undraft all and just let them do their own thing. Okay. Yep. Sit back here and we'll... Where's a good view of the lightning rods? Hmm. So we've got one here. We've got one clear down there. Risk of meltdown, Edmund. So we got one, two, and one, two. So four chances of getting a good show here. So if I zoom in like that, we'll, we'll see what happens. Otherwise, we can watch what they're... All up to, they're either getting some sleep. Now, we didn't lose who owns the bed. Woo, there is one. So, do we have a battery? We do, and that gave quite a charge. So I'll have to go back and look to see where that was before the lightning strike, but next lightning strike hits, we should see that max out. We're not charging anymore. Minus 38. Although, I wonder if each flash curious to see, outside of working hours, a good bright flash, will this suddenly jump up? It does in RimWorld. I wonder if they brought that over to this game. Oh, good strike. Didn't see that go up, but I do see we're maxed out here. No, we're not. Though we definitely went up. So now we're dropping again. Or maybe we did, because it dropped a pretty good chunk. What was it six? Yeah, we're dropping pretty fast, so maybe it maxed and then immediately dropped again. 
when we saw that last time, I don't think we had anything running. So it went to max and it just stayed there. That, that one thunderstorm. Anyway, most everyone's going to sleep. This would be a good chance to take off and do a, a balloon trip. Though I don't think there's anybody I want to spare right now. I want Edmund, Carter, and Simon to head up top and do a little experiment. I want Rita to keep planting. And... Kana and Paulette are both going to be busy. Kana could be finishing the construction as well as probably finishing off another electronic. And Paulette most likely needs to top off her meals. We're going to wipe out five of those tomorrow morning pretty quickly. Yeah, that's just how it works. We have more than most have in this game. I don't know how many games get played with only four characters and yet there's still never enough characters. Still always more work than you can possibly get done. But we are at two in the morning. I've been recording for 50 minutes. I'm only on day one. Hmm. Either this is going to be a one day episode and we'll get to the rest of that next time or we're going to have a really long episode. Yeah, I'm looking up at my clock right now. We'll see. <laughs> Thunderstorm's over. A chance for one last strike somewhere. Or is it going to be right here? This will be the show. Or is it up on a, a hill off in the distance? No, I think we're done. Okay. So we got a good charge on our battery there. So we're probably still not going to see this happen. Because once daylight hits, it's enough to keep this topped off. So we won't bother paying attention to that. Do need to get these guys done. So oh, Edmund's up already. Okay. So I'm going to grab them as they wake up. Get all the butchering done. Get everything put away. And I'll catch you probably at, at dawn. At sunrise. Well, I learned something. I had assigned Edmund and Simon to come out here and do some of this, and Carter got up and all on his own started to butcher them. He's the only one that got the command to do that on his own. And Carter is the only one that has a one on Hunt. So apparently we've finally proven that Hunt does automatically default to butchering. I've never actually successfully seen that before because something else always comes up right at the same moment and ruins the uh, the natural progression of the game. So he is doing, Carter is doing this without being told to, though he didn't last long. What are you doing right now? You are sitting. Oh, because 7 o'clock happened and they have to go sit. All right, let's get you to continue. Uh, is there anything that's not already assigned? These are all reserved. Uh, there we can go. Get you to do that one. You, you, and this one's already gone. Okay. And I did bring two down to grab some meat to go up there and extract some fats out of them. So we can use those for, for cooking variety. Everything else I wanted to dump into fuel. Uh, ooh, wine. I guess that's the first time we actually got some wine. We've been making it for quite some time. Hello. Ah, well, we are. Can you finish observing this guy? We are 84% done. So if we can keep him scaring him away, he comes out only when we have something to butcher. Um, what's... No, no, no. Get back here. Get back here. Get back here. Observe. Anyway, maybe he'll come back. Um, Carter is transporting. Good. And after that, Carter, let's just have you directly fuel limit is reached no 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 let's let's increase that fuel limit for the longest time i didn't think we'd ever see it even 200 so we'll just do that for now carter once you go ahead and fill up one of these and if i'm correct you're going to take the fuel out of all six of them and take them all up top at once that's that's my guess so we'll see if that happens. But i got to make sure these guys don't escape before they've actually done the job. So you are going to hang around and do that one. And you have all the three of these in queue. Okay. So you're going to a fermentation barrel. 
Um, you know, Simon, I could have you do another one. Why don't you do that? Grab 50. Good. Let's see how these guys interact with them. So you're picking up the fuel from that barrel and that barrel and that one. Yeah, you're going to bring all the fuel up at once. And then I'll have Edmund finish. Hmm. I'll have you do this one. Though I don't know what happens. <laughs> you drop the 50, you get another 50. Okay, fine. You do that one too. <laughs> Oh, they're funny sometimes. Anyway, we've got... Now, this time the repairs are triggered automatically. They're all highlighted in blue. Last time it didn't happen. And I don't know what was different. I don't know what changed that. But Edmund, you're going to do this. Connor brought more repair supplies down to load up all the walls. You're going to handle more. And Connor, while you're down here, you can butcher these last two that the others seem to have forgotten. You got to clean up the guy's mess. Yeah. Anyway, you're going to do that one, and you're kind of done. So you kind of finish that and finish that, and let's make all this happen. Okay. So, Kana, okay, um, um, can thank you. All right. So we are at nine in the morning. Once everyone gets past their. Uh, Security signal. Ooh. That's different. What can, is there a deadline on that? So this is, again, that same generic picture that they show for the luxury cruise liner. So it tells me that it doesn't actually represent anything like that. It's just a generic picture. The site of a recent crash started emitting an automated high-frequency security signal. Now, what did we get out of the last one of these? Automated signal. The codes are characteristic to military module. Okay, we didn't. We haven't had this one before then. The signal is either coming from a ship's defense system or from an onboard reconnaissance vessel. Okay. The last time we had one of these with an automated signal, we got the instructions for sleep training. We had to choose between something. I think that's what I remember. Okay, um... What kind of timing? Usually, what, like four days, or what What do we have for this one? We have four full days on this one. Okay, so that's not this episode. Let's do other things with this day. But Khan is butchering. Carter is handling. So he went all the way back down there to finish his job. Though I told... Yeah, I told Edmund, yeah, just get it done for him. So Edmund needs to eat. We don't have any resources left. Um, we will when Khan is done. And rather than leave this down here, let's take a chance and bring some up here and make some meat soup out of it. Just so we get a little more variety. Um, we'll open this up this time to bug meat. Doesn't mean I'm going to be able to get Connor to actually do it. Unless I go through here and turn off bug meat for just this trip. Then I'll turn it back on once it's up there. Alright, so you... We have one left. And that should get Edmund up there to eat. It should get Carter up there to eat. Simon, how are you doing? You're eating right now. So let's make sure you get some relaxation right now. Simon, when you're done, hop over and sit in this chair for a while. Relax, yeah. And Carter, you are eating, then you're going to relax. And Edmund, you are eating, and then you are going to relax. All right. You guys just sit down and plan out your, your day of scavenging. Kana is transporting 30. Did she miss anything? She actually got it all. Nice. And 30, these guys are increments of 10, right? 20. Oh, okay. So that's not going to happen. We have 20 in stock. We are waiting for and waiting for. Okay. So we're going to get just one round out of it. But 10 bug meat makes a meal. So 20 and 10, 30. Okay, we'll use it all up. All right. So trip next time. Security signal. 
That's probably Rita. Yeah, I don't get the sense that is a physical strength thing. And there's our bird shadow going over, but I'm guessing that the red feathered bird never returned. Can I see where that is? He's right there. The sun is theoretically over the top of us, so I'll probably never get... There he is. Where are you going? That's a flying reptile. Different from the red feathered bird or the small flying reptile. So that's the pterodactyl. Ah, okay. And I get the sense he's not stopping. Now, there he is. So he's not coming back. Ah, he's curving. He's checking the site out, that's for sure. The vultures are circling the the battle scene here, the battlefield. I uh, need to get torches turned off. Extinguish. Okay, so where are we at? Edmund quarreled with Umar. Are you done? You're done enough. Okay, let's do it. You are going to come up and salvage what? Let's get anything that looks unusual. So let's go for this engine. Oh, is that... That's the entire complex. Oh, that's huge. I thought I was going to get three different salvages out of that. Really? Okay, well, we'll do you. We got bugs over here. Huh. Well, that was unexpected. Okay. So we'll do you. And do we get a third one up here? This looks like what we already have available to us. This we have available to us up at the other side. Let's go to the other side. So Edmund, you come up and scavenge this. Carter is probably... He's handling, so he's done with whatever he was going to do. Carter, come on up and scavenge this. And Simon, let's send you this direction then. That's like what we've already got. Okay. The other ones are so far away. They're up as far as the bugs. I don't think I want to send you out there alone. Yeah, that doesn't look... Well, that is kind of unique. And you're not fully into the bugs. Okay, we'll do it. Scavenge. Simon, you come on up here. You are crafting and transporting. Let's scavenge. One round for all three of you guys. And let's see what you find. So, these guys timed out really well. They're going up together. So, Umiar... Can I get you to finish something outside? What are you working on right now? Ah, uh, heat pump. Ooh. That is our refrigerator. Our freezer, actually. Hmm. So what do we do with the refrigerators once we do this? Give me your thoughts on this. I was going to turn this into a great big walk-in freezer. And most of our foods... If frozen, their shelf life is indefinite. Same with the veggies, different meals. Frozen is where they stay forever. Then we can just start stacking them all up. We can, you know, turn everything on. Ten meals of every kind. Paula can just max everything out. Then we can have her do something else entirely for a week and not worry about meals anymore. So I'm thinking this is a freezer. Are there any advantages that I'm not thinking of to have individual refrigerators? I don't think so. But if I'm missing something, let me know. Because I don't have anywhere else to put them. We could just put them out in a shed and let it sit there unpowered as a backup plan for what I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to waste the storage space in here. We can do so much more shelving this area off. And it's going to cost electricity to do both. And if there's any sense of real life involved, this guy releases heat into the room. So it's like a heat source. You're like having a bunch of torches lighting up the room. 
So I don't know if the game accounts for that. Cold in here equals hot in its environment. But I don't know. So thoughts on that. My thought is to make a great big frozen room with those heat pumps. But I was going to have Umayar go and finish the bushes and then finish the small trees research-wise and be done with that. And then we could plant this pathway up and plant around our our wedding chapel and what have you. Kind of add some nice backgrounds and <clears throat> borders and what have you. Simon, did you make it out here? Where was it? That was up here, right? So you are here. You're just beginning. You guys are up here. And no, you haven't even started yet. Okay. So we'll see. They probably got started around noon, maybe 11. We'll see how long it takes them to do one round and get back. So before the next bug attack, we got all this to do, we got these to build. And tomorrow morning we send Rita out. Heat pumps are done. Okay. So I'm thinking heat pumps are the next thing to do. With leaving the windows in place as a something to open up whenever we have cold snaps in the winter. So free cooling then. But where do we put the heat pump now that isn't that is a wall that isn't being used? Will it let me build it over the top of this guy or will it freak out like all the windows? That's gonna be a shelving unit right there. And this would be the next place to put it. Hmm. So heat pump is here, there. Ah, it does work. Okay. And unlike Rimworld, there is no inside and I mean, there is a regular, a real inside and outside. Rimroll, do you reverse it? Oh, you should reverse it here too. Where do you want the heat to go? I think it's what it's trying to tell me. Heat blows in or heat blows out. Okay. That's not quite what I was thinking of. A real heat pump, you flip a switch and it either exhausts heat out the front or it exhausts heat out the condensing unit out back, meaning you, you can use them to heat or cool. Well, that looks like heat's blowing out, and for this particular setup, that is exactly what we want. What I don't know is if we need two. So we'll get one running, we'll pull the refrigerator out, and we'll possibly put a second one up. So this guy runs heat pump, takes 16. Whereas these guys take eight. So this one is going to take as much power as two of those. I don't know how much power a freezer would have taken. Uh, here? No, storage. We don't have a freezer yet. So that wasn't even an option. Okay. Anyway, back over here. Simon is almost done. Now, is that because his research ability is faster? Is scavenging... No, scavenging is physical. But is it physical in speed or just physical in what can be carried back? You got 42 uh, scrap metal out of that one. And that structure looks like what? Just a whole bunch of random interesting shapes. More so than, say, well, this is kind of interesting, too. Actually, that's what I was thinking of. I wanted him to go there. Um, let's let him haul that back. Ten. No, 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 no. Well, you, you, you're going to take ten to a project. No, come on, Simon. Haul the scrap metal, okay? Don't pull that on me. And don't grab another ten, please. Thank you. Grab all the scrap metal. <laughs> they did that to me in RimWorld every time, too. Oh, they need to work on that. When it's over a certain distance, you bring it all. That's what they need to do. But I was going to have him then come over and do this one. I could still do that. He's got a faster walk speed. How's his... Uh, he's in decent shape, too. So when you get done dropping that off, do this one. Now, Carter... 
You guys should be getting close to to done. How are we in comparison now? Scavenge. They're both fives. Okay. Fruits flambe. Ooh. Wine and fruit. Wine and berries. Oh, go, Paul, let go. That's probably a plus 18. More scrap metal out of this one. Okay. And you're going to carry it all home, right? You. You. Edmund. Hall. Carter. He got scrap metal, too. So. I. And you want to bring 10. <laughs> you didn't get that much, either. You got 35. So. He got less than Simon, though Simon only has a hall, a physical of two, and he has a physical of five. So the better the physical is not necessarily the better the odds of getting something good or getting a better quantity. It really has to do with hauling. That's what I'm taking out of this. Carter, haul everything. And someone down there can grab the ten, but you guys need to bring all the stuff home. Okay, and this is actually the structure that I just asked Simon to go and scavenge. So I'm thinking we don't need to go through that one. It's going to be the same odds. So I don't know that the different structures will give you different loot. It's at least, well, of course that was only one round on each of those different structures, so that's not fair to make a definite conclusion but I would have thought out of three tries and three uh, uh, different scenarios we would have gotten at least one different result that makes sense anyway so we'll continue scavenging out what is around us just for convenience sake but I do want to get this house done so that's in fact I Kana, where are you right now? You are going down to... You need... You want to make antibiotics. You're going to go get some grain. I see. Why don't you instead... Because this is the first time we've had grain available in a long, long time. Go ahead and haul all the grain. And, yeah, go go for it. So, Paulette is also grabbing grain. Yeah, they're, they're greedy for it. They've been having a grain since last fall. So, all right. There's going to be there's gonna be no telling them no on this one. I have a feeling. It's one, one of those situations where I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to divert them over and over again. And they're just going to flat out ignore me. So, <laughs> some, some things just overpower you're set for salvage, you're set for scavenge. And as those come up in the queue, what should happen as soon as there's no more building to do? They should, uh, and no more handling, then they should default to scavenging. That just hasn't happened for a long time because we've always had things to do. But once the house is done, things should calm down in that regard. All the cutting will then be done. And... We'll shift the series over to other priorities. Um, and Simon is going to do that anyway. Do I stop him or not? Uh, you'll be okay. You're actually pretty quick at it. Quicker than I expected. I really kind of wonder if his ability to observe quickly or his ability to run faster, walk faster, has anything to do with, with the calculations for scavenging. He seemed to tap through that one up there pretty quick. Quicker than I was seeing Simon and Edmund's bars moving. Let's see what happens here. Eh, maybe not. My imagination. You guys make it down yet? 35 and 53. Okay. Rita's transporting from here. Good. Okay. So, corn. Grain cob. You have to be at least farming three to have a guarantee no failure. Do we have any other farming threes? Harvest. No. 
I mean, not even close. So that's got to be one of our long-term priorities, is to get other people to plant. A specific two of them. Paulette, probably. Simon, maybe. Planting should increase their farming without ruining a harvest. A harvesting job. I think that's a thing. Um, these vents... I've got them turned off so they don't draw cold or hot air through until the building is done. That's right. I remember thinking about that when I turned this on. So we're done except for the windows. And Kana, I kind of wanted you to work on those. You're doing a whole bunch of handling. Why don't you go ahead and get the windows done? You construct. Good, you actually did it. And you grab wood? No. Too bad. I guess there isn't any wood out here. Oh, there's a 10 right there. That was probably the 10 that was meant for this. Five. Probably was. Um, what does this need? This needs a CPU core and metal alloy. We have it all. Yep. Yeah. Um, Edmund's over there. Kana, are you skilled enough to do that? Just to get the materials hauled over curious. I don't want any, this to get used anywhere else. So let's get that in your queue tonight. We'll at least get uh, um, get it set. Whether we finish it tonight or not, I don't know. Where am I right now? Yeah, it's been one of the longer episodes. Oh well. Not going to get very many more of these episodes out for a while, so we'll have fun with this one. So take your time watching it. I tell you at the end. <laughs> Uh, Kana is here bugging Paulette while she's trying to sleep. There's some wood. Got plenty of wood. Okay, so I want someone faster, but you guys are still just getting here. Edmund, where'd you land? You're eating. So I gotta leave Edmund and Carter alone. So Kana, your reward for doing this extra work is to get your own bedroom tonight. You're just taking your time. Yeah. Maybe if you get something brought over there, I'll have Edmund finish it. Edmund, how are you doing? You're rough, but you're not that rough. Okay, you are going to sleep. Can I draft you and bring you next to the... What? Where are we storing the 23 alloys? Are you in furnaces? You might be. I'll send you to there. Because I'm pretty sure she's got an electronic. Yeah. She's got a CPU core. You're going to do that. And you, Kana, are going to bed. Edmund, you are going to finish building this. Undraft. And construct. You're constructing. Because there's 17 alloy just laying there for when I try to build a, a battery. Ah, okay. Good. So you can get this guy going. We'll set the temperature to freezing, below freezing, and we'll see how it works. In which case, I guess next episode we'll start unloading the refrigerator refrigerators onto the shelves. Yeah. Huh. Wonder if I want a shelf down this whole length here probably do, which means I've got to knock off the end of these. I wonder how many of these do they really need to walk through. Or if I, I mean, it builds two in the space of a block. If I get rid of just one, can they walk through? Reach construction five. Nice. And he's done. Alright, how does this guy work? And how do we know if he's connected? Consuming. 16. We're connected. Okay. So, target temperature is 75. Target temperature, 32 is freezing. Let's take you down to 20. Can you ever get there? That's the question. And then, can you maintain it in a heat wave? Another big question. Let's take you down to 14. Now, changing to <clears throat> control circuit, none. Okay. Changing to. I want to make sure that doesn't mean... Someone has to go and turn the knob. I don't think so. Although that looks like heat waves blowing in. Um, Edmund, is there a handle? 
There is a handle. Go tell it to change. 75. Changing to 14. 14. Okay. Actual temperature is what? 65. 64. We're dropping. 63. It's happening. Okay. We have the representation of temperature moving. 60. Okay. So next episode, we'll check in on that and see where it landed. Otherwise, are we done? I think we are. I don't remember... I'm looking to see if there's anything else that was important. No, I think I've hit everything except for Hunt. So Rita's got to take off. We need to get up here and get half of this herd and bring it in. It's meat. Now that we've got a freezer to store it all. Ooh, good. We'll get more leather out of that, which means we can get back to making clothing. Okay, that's a plan. So once we've done all of that and repaired all of this, and our first round of concrete gets through, yeah, there's a lot more coming. We'll figure it all out when it happens. So I'm going to call this one done. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.